Hi, welcome to my video on proving trig identities number three. This is the final video on doing identities, except for the review, which sums up all the videos on trig identities. Now, what I've done is made these uh, proofs a little bit uh, different, so they can help you out in your thinking. There's no way to make the same ones out all the time, so let's do these, what I call, some of them are a little bit different. Number one, prove sine tan plus cos equals secant squared times cos. Again, we have the left side, which is sine theta tan theta plus cos theta, and the right side is secant squared times cos, secant squared theta. And it looks like if I were to uh, work out this, I would work out the one with the plus, and break it down, because this is secant squared times cos, then this looks like this one is easier to work. So let's take the more difficult one. And to do this, Let's change tan to sine over cos plus cos theta. Done. This is a multiplication. So we will multiply that and we'll get sine squared theta over cos theta plus cos theta. And what? This is a fraction, so we'll put this over 1, and the common denominator is cos, so this fraction here already has a cos theta, so let's put cos here, so 1 into cos goes cos, cos times cos is cos squared, or you multiply, if you want, you can multiply this fraction here by cos over cos, because cos over cos theta over cos theta is 1, and when you multiply cos by 1, you get the same denominator as this fraction. So cos squared over cos, common denominator is cos, write it down, and we have sine squared plus cos squared. And sine squared plus cos squared, or cos squared plus sine squared is 1. So we have 1 over cos. Now, what you do, or what I do, is I go to a sheet of paper, and I write this one down, and I work it out till I get to this. Let's see. Uh, secant squared is 1 over cos squared theta times cos theta. And because we're multiplying fractions, cos theta cancels out, and it goes into cos squared. So that's a 1. That's a 2. We subtract the exponents to get a 1. So that becomes 1 over cos theta. And if you're working this on a sheet of scrap paper, which we are, just pretend. Allow me to cover this up for a second. So what I did was on a sheet of scrap paper, and or sheet of paper, and... Nobody knows I did that, or yes, they know, but probably just. So what I do now is I go to the paper and say, well, these are the same. So I write down this statement right here. So I write down 1 over cos squared times cos. So I'm reversing it. And that gives me secant squared cos. So notice, if you multiply 1 over cos, if you write this down, 1 over cos squared times cos, that's the same as this one. So by reversing it, so this one goes right here, and this one goes right here. Now, again, remind you, this is not, and covering it up, you do not see this. That's all you see if you were doing an official proof. I'm only... I'm only placing this here. 
rather than go to a sheet of scrap paper. I'm just putting this here to show you this is the working that you would do on that sheet of paper. And since the left side equals the right side, it is an identity. Okay, let's try another one. Prove sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 minus 2 cos squared. Again, we have a left side, which is sine squared theta minus cos squared theta. And we have a right side of 1 minus 2 cos squared theta. Okay. How are we going to, well, if you look at the right side here, notice that the right side has a cos function in it, but the left side has sine and cos. That means that the sine must be changed to a cos in order to convert it to this expression. So what is sine squared? Sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. So sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. And now we add as 1 minus 2 cos squared theta. So not very hard, but it's a trick. Again, if one side is all of sines, then you change your tan, and everything else secant, cosecant, to sines. So this got cos, so this side, everything changes to a cos, if you can do it. And again, note, since the left side equals the right side, it is an identity. Okay, number three, prove cos squared minus sine squared all over cos squared plus sine times cos equals one minus tan theta. And again, we have a left side, cos squared theta minus sine squared theta all over cos squared plus so that's the left side, and the right side is 1 minus tan theta. So which one are you, which side are you going to work out? Okay, well, if, you're, if you don't know which one to do, pick one. Pick the left or pick the right. Uh, if I picked the right, so I could say, well, this one looks more confusing than this one. So if I pick this one, what happens? How do I get over here? Well, you got to notice that this is the difference of two squares, which is factorable. And notice that this is factorable down here because cos is a GCF common. So if I factor the numerator as cos theta plus sine, theta times cos theta minus sine theta again and I factor the denominator cos is in both expressions so I'll take cos theta out and cos squared divided by cos is cos theta sine cos divided by cos is sine and if you notice that when you have, because it's factoring here, which is what you got to be looking for sometimes, these two expressions are the same. So this is factored, this is factored, so these two cancel out, and I get cos theta minus sine theta, one times sine minus, or cos minus sine is cos minus sine. Cos times 1 is cos. So I get this far and I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Well, if you notice, it's your choice.
But if you look at here, you have a one. And look here, you got a 10. What if you take the cars and divide it into both of these? So cars theta divided by cars, subtract sine theta divided by cars. And again, that's very similar to four plus three over five. It's the same as four over five plus three over five. And that's what I'm doing here. And if you notice, cars over cars is one. Sine theta over cos theta is 10. Done. And since the left side equals the right side, it is an identity. So you have to explore, try, and if it don't work, then try it. But I, you have to notice that, if you, again, once you got here, you have to look and say, this is one, how do I get a one? Well, it's the division of cars into both of these will give you this expression. But what if you were to practice, let's pretend that you're doing the right side first. Because sometimes you don't know which side to pick. So let's take the right side. Pretend. Let's do it again. But let's start with the right side. So that's 1 plus sine over cos. Another name for 1 is cos over cos. The denominator of this fraction is cos. So I want this denominator to be cos. So cos divided by cos is 1. And they now both have the same denominator. So we write it down. And we have a cos theta minus sine. So let's say you did this first and you got here. So now you're looking at this statement. And then you say, what to do? Well, this is when you look over here. If you did this first, you would look to see that you have a cos on the bottom. And so when you look at this statement here, this expression on the bottom, you say cos is on the bottom. So you look and say, oh, I got cos here and cos here. So I'll factor out the cos. That will give me a cos on the bottom. And then when you do that, you say, oh, I got cos plus sine. Then you realize that this is the difference of two squares, which is factorable, and that leads you to... But you got to be looking. you got to be observant. And if you did this one first, what would you do next? Well, you would multiply. You, took, you take this fraction, and you would multiply it by cos theta plus sine on top and bottom. You would write it. These two, you would multiply the top by cos plus sine. You multiply the bottom by cos plus sine. And that would give you this statement right here and you would work it out. Again, which side do you pick? There's your choice, but you gotta be watching very carefully. Watching the patterns, looking for some clue of how to work it out. Number four, we got a cos theta, sorry, sine theta plus sine times tan squared equals tan times secant. So the left side is sine theta Add on sine theta, tan squared theta. And we have a right side of tan theta, secant theta. Again, if you took a sheet of scrap paper and looked at this, this is sine over cos times 1 over cos. So that's sine over cos squared. That's not going to go very far. So... It might be best to, that's just a mark there, might be best to do this side first. So, which way do you want to do? Again, I looked around and I see, I noticed that sine is common to these two terms, this expression and this expression. So therefore, sine divided by sine is 1. Sine 
tan squared divided by sine is tan squared. And if you remember it, that 1 plus tan squared is tan is what? Sine over cos. So that's, remember, tan, if you think about it, tan is sine theta over cos theta. Cos is on the bottom. So I know that I got to have a secant. Whatever's on the bottom, it's reciprocal. One over cos is a secant. And so that gives me sine, and that's secant squared, which is one over cos squared. So that's sine over cos squared. Notice sine over 1 times 1 over chi squared is sine over chi squared. Now, you've gotten this far, then again, pretend you're working your sheet of paper. So you're, you got this far, and you're stuck. How do I get this side? So on a, pretend on a sheet of a paper, you do sine, or sorry, tan is sine over chi. Secant is 1 over chi. And that gives me sine theta times 1 is sine theta. Cos theta times cos theta is cos squared theta. So this is on a sheet of scrap paper. So now I say, oh, they're the same. So I look and I say, well, this let's write this statement down. So that's sine theta over cos theta times 1 over cos. If you roll it down like this, there it is. Roll that in right here, and that gives you tan theta secant theta. And again, remind you, this is not here. This is done on the sheet of scrap paper. So you never touch the right side on this sheet of paper. You did do it on a, another sheet of paper, but you never did it here. So that's not there. Notice the right side is not there because you did it on a sheet of uh, workable paper or called scrap paper. Now we have the two of them done, then we make the statement, since the left side equals the right side, it is an identity. And you could also, if you didn't know, so because I recognize that 1 plus tan squared is secant squared, because that's one of the ones you were asked to memorize, you could also work this down through and you would come up with this for instance pretend just for a second let's pretend pretend you d you do not know or forgot that one plus tan squared is secant squared so let's pretend let's take out from here and work this tan squared is sine squared over cos squared so, if you forgot to name this as secant squared for 1 plus tan squared, and you did the inside of this by PEMDAS, then you would have the common denominator for the inside is cos squared. So, another name for 1 is cos squared over cos squared. Cos squared over cos squared is 1. Why cos squared? Because cos squared is this denominator. So that gives you cos squared is the common denominator. Write it down. It gives you cos squared plus sine squared. When you combine these two fractions, you get cos squared plus sine squared over cos squared. And as a sine theta, Cos squared plus sine squared is 1. And sine times 1 is sine. Sine theta times 1 is sine theta. 1 times cos squared is cos squared. And now you have it right here. And then you reverse it. So 
If you recognize 1 plus tan squared or secant squared, you get there much faster. But if you didn't, you would have to go from this step to here, down through, to get to sine theta over cos squared in order to reverse it. Again, learn your identity it makes it easier. But that's why people find identities uh, rough or, or harder to do, because you got to have good memory. And prove that one over one over one plus sine. <coughs> excuse me. So add on one over one minus sine equals two secant squared. So the left side one over one plus sine one over one minus sine, and the right side is two secant squared theta. Now secant squared, secant is 1 over cos, so secant squared is 1 over cos squared. So this is really 2 times 2 over cos squared. So it looks like I'm going to have to work on the left side. Now the LCD, I got two denominators, one is plus, one is minus. So the LCD is the product of these two. So I have to go 1 minus sine. times the first fraction, add on, and I go one plus sign, okay, make sure everything is okay. Notice the LCD is the product of these two, the LCD is one plus sine times 1 minus sine. So I have to multiply this fraction by 1 minus sine over 1 minus sine. I have to multiply this fraction by 1 plus sine over 1 plus sine. So if you multiply these two, this denominator and this denominator are the same. So but I, if I notice this is the factorization, I can leave it like that just for a second. So the two denominators are the same. So I'm just going to write the two denominators down. There they are. And one minus sine times one is one minus sine. And one times one plus sine is one plus sine. And I have the same denominator, so I'll write down 1 minus sine times 1 plus sine, theta that is. And I'm going to add these up, so when I add these up, that's a negative sign and a positive, they cancel out, and 1 plus 1 gives me 2. And notice now, I have 2, I got a 2 here, so that means that this must be secant squared. How do I get secant squared? Well, I'm going to go to the sheet of scrap paper now. Pretend that I go 2, and that's 1 over cos squared. So that's 2 over cos squared on the sheet of scrap paper. And I look and say, how do I get cos squared? Well, cos squared is, again, 1 minus If you multiply these two out by FOIL, that's that's the difference of two squares. Remember, that's an A plus B times an A minus B, which is A squared minus B squared, the difference of two squares. So when you multiply these two binomials with a plus and a minus, you will end up with 1 times 1 is 1, negative sine squared times a positive, negative sine theta times a positive sine theta, is the negative sine squared, and as a result, that's 2 over cos squared theta. Those brackets are not necessary there. Again, you have to look, cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. So if you think about it, cos squared is 1 minus 
sine squared. So that means that this product must be 1 minus sine squared. Again, the 2 here is this 2, so cos squared must be the product of these two. And now, notice I reversed them. I have, there it is, so this is 2 times 1 over cos squared, because that's 2 over 1, and that gives me 2 secant squared. So the workings of this on a sheet of scrap paper helps you to recognize how they're related. So notice, again, I'm going to cover this page up. I'm going to cover this question on the page. I'm going to cover this, what I did on the paper. And that's what I have right here is on a sheet of scrap paper to work it out. And now I put it, I reverse the steps. After I get to where I want to go, I recognize that 1 minus sine squared is the product of these two. So that goes right here. That goes right here. This, here it goes. And then is the final step. So since the left side equals the right side, it is an identity. Again, you got to be careful. Do the two sides. If you do one side and you can stop, then do the other one on a sheet of paper. Again, ask your teacher, are you allowed to do both of them going down the page? That way, you, everything is okay. But if you're not, then you got to do one of them and do the other one on a sheet of uh, extra paper and recopy going in the order, reverse order. And the last one, we have a left side, which is sine theta times cosecant theta minus sine theta. And the right side is sine squared over tan squared, just a fraction. So it looks like I'm going to have to work this side. So we change cosecant is 1 over sine minus sine. Now, I have an option. I can work the inside where I notice that if I multiply here by sine, the bracket goes. I'm distributing sine through these two terms. So that's sine times 1 over sine minus sine times sine. Make that a theta. So notice I multiply sine by this term and sine by this term. There it is. And so that cancels to give me a 1. And that gives me sine times sine is sine squared. And 1 minus sine squared is cos squared. So you go again, you go to your sheet of paper and you work this out. So sine squared all over tan is sine over cos. Notice this is your division right here. So you're dividing, so that's sine squared theta times the reciprocal of the bottom. This is your division. So that's cos squared theta over sine squared. And you're multiplying fractions, so you cancel one, one. That gives you cos squared. Now, this is done on a sheet of scrap paper. So now you come back and you say, I got this. So you write this one down. Squared. Perfect. Then you put this one down. Notice I'm reversing, so I put this one right here, then I put this one right here, 
And then the final answer, final part to this, that's a tan. So working this out on a sheet of paper, because they're the same, you take this step, and put it there, you take this step and put it there, and then you put this step down here, and nobody sees, again, I'm going to cover it up, nobody sees what I did on that sheet of paper. I just reversed it, and it's everything's okay. Since the left side equals the right side, it is an identity. So, hopefully you have a better idea about doing uh, the identity proofs and trig. Again, I can only do so many, and hopefully I help you out. And if you do like the video, click on the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell. Visit my website, www.math40explained.com, to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video.